Hey, what's up? I'm Michael with Let's Play Gaming Entertainment. I'm back today with uh, Flower Episode 6. This is the final normal level, and let's get started. This is the biggest level in the game, I believe, and uh, I, again, I wanted to say the next episode is going to have, um, it's the credits roll for the game, and it's actually a stage itself so it's it's rather neat and it will be a complete video by itself uh, I like this stage it's really cool but at the same time it's it's massive compared to a lot of the others but um it's just a it's a really neat little stage okay let's let's get going Hopefully there will be no splicing in this video. <laughs> I still can't believe it didn't give me that trophy the first time through on that other one. I know I didn't get hit. Alright. This one is awesome, though, because, like I said, there are so many flowers. And it's just... This stage just has so much color in it. It is awesome. This game is truly a, a work of art. I actually had someone express interest in me uh, doing a Borderlands and Borderlands 2 set um, or series and I have played the hell out of Borderlands and I love Borderlands but I don't think that I want to do them again anytime soon I just I've gotten to where I can't really do uh, I can't really do first-person shooters too much anymore and which is a shame because I've got some I need to finish and I've got Thief on PS4 as well and I love it and it is hard for me to play it it's I love the game a lot of people don't like it for some reason I don't know exactly why but I think it's just a, a general thing nowadays nobody likes anything so I think I got them all. So we're going to be right here. Let's get this thing. Get out of here with that mess, man. Uh, in this area, in this level, if you're going for all the trophies, definitely go for um, every one in here. And. Yeah, you want to hit all of this metal and get it out of the way. When you get the metal cleared from the areas, it opens up more places to get more flowers, so... I don't think there's any way you could ever get every single flower in here. But, uh, you can get enough to light the whole city up and it's really neat to rebuild the city. Alrighty. You need to give the whole city color back though and it, it does take quite a bit to do so. This is liable to be a 30 minute episode where the rest were, the longest so far was 20 minutes I think. So far I've played I've put a grand total of 
maybe an hour and 15 minutes into this playthrough. Uh, so, I mean, it's a really short game once you figure out how to do everything. Unless you know where those special flowers are, though, and how to get them, it's really hard to actually go on and get everything. But yeah, um, there's one trophy that is, you have to bloom 10,000 flowers. And if you if you play through like I have this time and do everything in one go, you're not going to have them all right then. I would suggest playing through every single level again at least once. Trying to get all of the um, flowers instead of playing this one over and over and over. <clears throat> By the time you get back to this one, you know, replay it a few times and you should be good to go. Alright, I'm missing something. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, there we go. I'm rebuilding. <laughs> Who knew that you could rebuild a whole city with flowers? You know, I, I honestly wish they would make a second flower. I think it's by far one of the the best experiences I've, I've had for a while. It's much better than Flow, and I think it's much better than Journey as well. Uh, mo both of those made by the same company. Uh, Journey is really cool. Flow is really weird. But, uh, like I said, Journey's really cool, but it's confusing. Alright. I'm just getting the flowers now, so... I'm just trying to make sure I have not missed anything in here. I think that's good enough, though. Alright, so... I do not know what's going on. Here we go. When you come through that area, make sure you take that first um, left or you will miss those and you won't get your trophy for brightening up the whole city. Uh, Come over here, down in here. There's your, your first set of secret flowers. All 
right. Hit all of the like playground equipment and it'll brighten it up too. Back over here, there's some more stuff as well. And that's where you first come from. Back behind this orange building, though, yeah, there's a um, that. So I've got this uh, headset and I have seen, or it's not a headset, this is just a regular pair of over-the-ear earphones. Um, but anyway, I have recently seen a, a new type of headset that has a, it's got an input and an output. It um, goes different places. And, let's see. They, um, I think they're pretty expensive, but uh, I really would like to get one that's got the, the separate input and output with the microphone built into it. I think that would be a, a great way to, to go. I do have a, a PlayStation headset, but the problem with it is that it's wireless, and I like the, the microphone that I have here better than, than that um, microphone on it. Although it doesn't really pick up um, the air conditioner very bad at all. You can actually record commentary with it uh, really easily. There is a sort of easy way to do um, your audio through that as well, but uh, it's, it's a little weird. You actually have to set up um, an input into your computer that you you hook up that thing to so all right uh, I think that's everything in this area it looks pretty well lit up to me so all right now uh, okay, this is a weird area. Let's see. I'm actually about halfway through this level now, but uh, this is a, an extremely weird area. You have to get almost everything on here and go through this a bunch of times. So if you miss something, just Wrap around and do it again. Alright, you want to go up and over first time. go through this several times until you get all these flowers too. Which I, I just missed some, I think. Usually I go through and knock off all of those things first and then I get the flowers. Looks like I lit that whole area up. I'm gonna go up there one more time though. You can just keep going over and over. Um, 
I think at that point you can take a right and you go back down to where you, you start and there's a green there's a, um, a green flower or a secret flower under there alrighty uh, I don't want to go the wrong way so I do believe you go to the right here I hope I'm doing the right thing yeah alright there's a green flower or a secret flower under here right there right there and this just takes you back out to the front I just have one more secret flower to grab alright this this is the tricky one here, I believe. Uh, when you get up here, and you go on and you go to the lift, and it kind of takes you into another part of the city there, and that you have to get rid of stuff, and the other flower is kind of hidden. I don't know if you can get back up here again it's once you get down there, so make sure you got everything. Actually, I believe it will bring you right back up if you want to. There's a area somewhere that will it anyway. I don't know what's up with this. It's like it's hanging for some reason. All right. Uh, what you want to do is get rid of all these things. So. Make sure you get rid of every one of them, otherwise it, it won't light up the city for you. And in the grass here, you have to fly around every dark spot of grass you see um, to light it up. This is pretty nifty how it does. Alright, go back down from here uh, for your third one. You have to go behind this thing over here. I'm going to go on and light up the ground. I think that you have to actually light up like 90% of the ground or something for it to, to pop your trophy. I'm not sure what the exact number is, but if you don't go over the grass, 
I have read that it, it will not pop. It's always popped for me, though. All right, when you get up here, don't let it take you over that way. I don't know what happened. I'll, I'll splice that out, cut it out, but um, apparently I hit the, the home button or something. Anyway, um, from that area right there, right here where we were just at, uh, you come over top of that thing, and you go over here to the left, I think. I believe it's behind this. I don't know. Okay, so that takes you back up. Alright. So I'll have to do that whole area again now. Uh... I'm just trying to get that one flower there. If I can grab it, then I can get on, find that other one. Okay, ah, I, I, I had the wrong um, fan part. There's a second one, I had forgot about it. That's where the, um, the secret flower's at. So anyway, you just come on back through here and go down the same way again. Make sure you go that way else. You won't get the, the stuff to light it up, though. See, I, I don't know why it's hanging like that. Anyway, uh, I was wrong about where it's at. It's actually on past here and to the right just a little bit. So when you get there, you just come on back here. And there's the other one, but it's, it's actually right behind it. can't see so you don't want to go up very far right there it's right there behind it there we go that is all of the secret flowers all right so there's a little tiny spot. I got it now. Now I'm just going to try to take all these out as well. This is really neat too because it actually fixes the building. sure why this is not lit up. That 
That has me worried. <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe it's just the stuff around it. I'll try that. Apparently not. I did see something over here that I missed, I think. I think you gotta get in this corner back here. That it does have me worried as to why it's like that. I guess I'm going to have to go through this again. <laughs> Alright, the only thing left to do now though is go up to the end of it and finish the game. Uh, so it shouldn't take too much longer, about four or five minutes. Two or three minutes maybe. I'm fast. One thing I know that kind of stops you on the speedway here is if you go down into the road, it catches for some reason. So if you hover just a little bit above the top of the road, it, it doesn't seem to do it like that. All right. Wondering if I missed something. Okay. I think I missed something somewhere, so I don't think it's going to load that one up for me. I don't know. That's that one. Uh, I think that I, I messed up. Well, they let me back through. All right, here we go. Pretty much at this point, you're about done. You just knock everything down. I have to admit, this has been a blast playing this again. I cannot believe I went through the whole game so fast. At this point, you can just kind of go on and go. Um, I'm just being extra meticulous about it. You pretty much don't have a choice once you get here. There are some flowers up here, though. This 
this is it, pretty much. There you go. I don't think you can stop it now. <laughs> It looks like the TARDIS. I don't know what it is. That's all the gameplay for um, episode six. So tomorrow I will be back with episode 7, which again is the credits level. Uh, if you've never seen the credits level for Flower, it's really awesome. It's the most creative credits level I've ever seen. All three of them. That should give me a trophy as well. Huh. Okay, dream. I'm positive I should have got that other one as well, but oh well. I don't know why I didn't. I must have missed something somewhere. I've never missed anything on that level. That's really weird. Oh well. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with that last um, level, which is the credits level. See you later.